This is not the cloak you're looking for. Yours the first look! Obi-Shan Kenobi. <laughs> Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is how to rescue a cape failure and make a Sorrento jacket. It was going to be how to make the Zimmerman cape of dreams or recreating the Zimmerman cape I can't afford. But uh, yeah, it's making a Sorrento jacket because um, no, definitely not. <laughs> so this did not work out as planned. The moral of this story is even with a really simple garment that doesn't really need to be fitted to you, don't cut into 20 pounds a meter wool until you are sure that you're gonna like the result. <laughs> it's not gonna be the end of the world though. I am going to hopefully cut this up. Well, no, I am going to butcher this for parts. It's <laughs> It's been in a timeout in the bottom of my wardrobe thinking about what it's done for the last week. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna butcher it for parts today because I'm going to turn it into a Sorrento jacket. I, uh, oh. I'm I, just to let you know because the, the Patreon peeps voted for this sew along. I am going to do this sew along next year with the 8029 pattern. I am not going to put the hood on because I mean I could I, 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 I could carry Chiana around in that like just no. I only put the hood on because the Zimmerman cape had a hood but realistically I'm never going to use the hood so I'm not putting the hood on the next one and I'm going to do it in the duck egg blue colour because Zimmerman did do this cape in a duck egg blue and I think it will give it much less Jedi vibes. But this wool is beautiful. As I say it was £20 a metre. I got it from Lady McElroy because of course I did. Well I got it via Sherwoods but it's a Lady McElroy fabric. I think they called it Ocean? not sure why. I am going to be able to get a Sorrento jacket out of this because the pant pieces are huge. The only downside is that I have put in the welts or buttonholes for the belt tie on this which means that I'm gonna to have to cut around those but that's okay I can do that it's not the end of the world it's going to be totally fine when I showed you guys my green denim Sorrento jacket you really wanted to see how I'd lined it I have no idea if I've done it the correct way but I have done it a way that worked for me it's meant that I didn't have to do any hand sewing and it was all beautifully finished so I'm gonna give that a try. Hopefully it will work for this one because otherwise that's really really a waste of fabric. So I had three and a half meters of this wool. I've got a decent amount left. None of it, I think only 40 centimeters the full width of it but then I've got really big pieces left as well so I'm really hopeful that I'm going to be able to get the sleeves because they are the biggest pattern pieces on the Sorrento jacket and that's why I'm making a Sorrento jacket out of this because it's full of tiny little pattern pieces so I should be able to kind of nest them and make sure that they are all cut out on grain beautifully from these pieces. It's just the sleeves that are giant and that I am slightly worried about but I think I can do it. So let's get started. Okay this has been evil and needs to be punished which I shall do with giant scissors. Okay, I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier because I want to make sure that I'm cutting all my pieces out on grain. So I'm going to cut along the seams that I've sewn just to separate these back into three pieces. Then I'm going to start lying, laying pattern pieces on here to see what I can get cut out of this. As I say, the sleeve is the biggest part. So once I've got the sleeves done, both sleeves, then it's not going to be too much of an issue to cut out the rest of the pattern pieces because they're all tiny but the sleeves are my biggest concern so they're going to be the first pieces that I cut out. The sleeve fits on the back pattern piece. I don't have to cut it out as a single layer. I can fold this in half and cut this out as, as one piece because it's going to fit one this side and then one that side which is awesome.
I have got a collar, a waistband, two cuffs, two pocket flaps, a yoke, a back panel, and um, two front panels. So it's all coming together. Day two. Good morning, lovely peeps. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to the sewing room. So today I am going to get my Sorrento jacket finished. <laughs> Nothing like positive thinking. It should be fine. I did the last one in a day and I've done a lot of the prep work yesterday. So yeah, should be able to get it finished today. I'm going to get straight into it. Sorrento jacket, here we come. One eternity later. That was definitely a trickier sew than the denim, but I'm done. I have finished my little jacket. I think it's really cute. It's really cute. I mean, obviously, if I hadn't made the fluff up with the cape, I wouldn't have cut a denim jacket out of this fabric. I would have done a different type of jacket or coat but I do really like this. My battery's dying two secs. So yes I do really like this. I am very happy with how it's come out. It's fully lined as the last one was. Uh, this time I have gone for the Savannah Lena crepe and then I've got some viscose acetate blend lining in the sleeves because that's super super slippery and I didn't have enough of the, this Lena crepe to cut out the sleeves and also I don't think it's slippery enough for the sleeves so <laughs> gotta get into it now yeah I really like this I actually went for the prim buttons again I decided to loads of you guys messaged me and just said they're fine they're not going to pop off once they're hammered on they're fine and I have some spares so if they do decide to make a bid for freedom I can replace them and I really like the colour with these the top stitching this time I went with matching thread so it's not super super obvious but that I wasn't going for super obvious this time I do think it's really cute I can do this one up if I want to I probably won't do this one up either. It's just, it's cute. Oh, I have got my green trousers on as well. Let me just tip you down for a sec. So yes, trousers are on. I tightened the back elastic by two inches and i am they fit much better now. They're, they're snug, which is great. So when I make the next ones, I'm just gonna make a few alterations to those. So yeah, really happy with this. Really, really happy with this. I don't think I filmed very much for the vlog today though, <laughs> whoops. But I do have all of the footage filmed for this jacket, so that's good. And that video will be coming out probably in the next couple of days. Over the weekend, I would imagine, because I've still got to edit it all. I've done some of the editing, but I've still got to edit the rest of it. Oh, it's quarter past seven. I am going to put away the sewing machine and I am going to get down the clothing rail that's, uh, we were lending it to some friends for a couple of years and I've got it back. Yes, it's turquoise blue. All ready for the videoing tomorrow. I'm going to bring down all of the stuff that I have made over October and November. I think it's about 30 things. There's me saying that I didn't want to like a 28 piece lookbook again <laughs> and I've done about 30 things but a lot of them were t-shirts so yeah I'm gonna get all those brought down and get ready for filming all of the videos tomorrow. I'm really pleased that I managed to salvage this though and it looks so much better than the cape. It really does. The, like I say the wool Wool was slightly more difficult to work with than the denim and they're the same thickness but the denim pressed a lot crisper than the wool did. I did use my clapper which I've got back there. You know I was doing all, all the proper tricks that you're meant to do with, when you're working with wool to get it to behave itself and I think I've done a pretty good job. There are a few little bits of top stitching that kind of went slightly awry in some of the lumpier areas because they're you know the, where the cuffs collar and stuff go on they can get quite bulky in those areas and yes I did trim my seam allowances and stuff it's just one of those things so there are a few tiny little bits of top stitching that were a little bit off but that's another reason I went for matching top stitching thread color rather than contrasting because I knew that it would be slightly more problematic for to sew this one up again if anyone comes and sees and and is like oh they're getting far too close because it's, it's like two areas and I'm not going to show you or tell you where they are so 
yes but i'm very very pleased with this so on that note there is not a lot else to say to you today i hope you all have enjoyed the tiny little bit that i filmed today having a quick look at the jacket and i will see you all tomorrow bye